What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new WWE action figure video. And today, I believe this is something that you guys can relate to. And it's just a video that I wanted to put out there. Maybe you guys can help me out with this. Maybe we can construct deals. Maybe something can go down because this is something that has been bothering me and has been bothering me for a very long time. Now, today, we're going to be diving into WWE action figures that have eluded me, man. That have just, I cannot seem to purchase these. I can't grab them. Maybe I've, you know, I've tried on eBay. Maybe Maybe I have went on toy hunts, countless toy hunts. Maybe, you know, you go to the garage sales, you go to the flea markets, you, you're constantly on the hunt and look for figures and deals and stuff like that to, to add to your collection and things of that nature. But these figures today have eluded me completely. They're, I just have not been able to add these to my collection. These are figures that I have never owned in my collection. Now, a few of these figures I've made maybe like a version of, like I think there's a couple figures on this list where I've kind of made the figure, but it wasn't official. It wasn't the official release. It wasn't something that I finally found. These are all figures that I have tried to put in my collection for years, and I just can't seem to do it. Hey, it is about time. I mean, I just couldn't get the ball in the hole. I wanted to, but I just couldn't do it. Do it. Oh! Oh! And today, I, I actually vividly remember talking about one of these figures specifically like six years ago, and I still have not added it to the collection. Now, you know, other things are obviously priority, and things take, you know, steps above and things like that, but these are still figures at the end of the day that I cannot get my damn hands on, and it bothers the hell out of me. And maybe you have some of these. There there are people that comment on my videos all the time saying, ha ha, I have this figure over you, and you do get to brag about that, Brad. You do get to say, you know what, Brad, I have a figure that you don't have. And keep that up, because I, I want to figure feel emasculated as I try and hunt for these figures. Now, nonetheless, let's dive into my list today, man. Let's start things off with probably the most recent figure on this list. It has a, I haven't been on the hunt for it for years like the rest of this the rest of this list. So let's just go ahead and knock out the most modern figure, man. The Elite 99 Chase Brock Lesnar. Been looking for this ever since it released. You guys know that I love Brock Lesnar figures. I love the Elite 99 Brock Lesnar. It was one of my favorite figures from last year, and it has eluded me. I cannot find the Chase. I've seen the regular version at retail. I have seen multiple chances to get the Chase, and I've had it on my watch list in, in on my eBay page go back to buy it sold out missing all these different things so that is a figure that I really really want badly I want that chase figure just because I love Brock's figures and I really enjoy the regular edition I gotta have the the chase version it's a beautiful figure and I, I love farmer Brock so that that's one of those that I really do want and so uh, again if you guys have these figures and you want to make a deal or there's something that I have and you want to make a deal or whatever man hit, the DMs are open you can hit me up maybe construct a trade maybe we can find Finalize something in the in the talks there. So that is the first figure on the list is Elite 99 Chase Brock Lesnar. Next up is a figure that has always eluded me as well, man. And this is one that I have searched for constantly, and it actually it sickens me that I don't have this. And this is this is a figure that is very hard to find uh, complete. You know, like there's some crazy accessories that come with it and things of that nature. I'm talking about the Elite Seven Shawn Michaels. Whatever reason, man, I have the Elite Seven Triple H. I've owned the Elite Seven Hornswoggle before. I cannot find the Elite Seven Shawn Michaels. You know, especially complete with the hat, you know, the hat, the, the freaking glow sticks, the jersey, those different things, man. Really tough, really tough to find. And if you guys have that figure complete, I mean, hold on to it. Put it in a glass case and never look at it again. I'm very shocked we haven't seen this in the Greatest Hits line because I feel like it's a figure that people really would like to see, you know, especially redone with all the different stuff. You got interchangeable hands, all these different things that they could do for the figure. I think that this, this is probably going to be in the Greatest Hits line sooner rather than later, but at least seven Shawn Michaels makes me sick. There's another couple Elite 7 figures that also make me sick, and that is the Hart Dynasty figures, man. Tyson Kidd, David Hart Smith, I mean, Christ on a bike, man. You can't find these figures, and if you do, the freaking, the condition is just disgusting. You know what I'm saying? Their faces are falling off, they're, they have no paint, they're super loose, the shoulders are going around like a topsy-turvy. There's no damn way you're gonna find these guys in really good condition, unless you buy them mint on card, which would cost triple the amount of the price, so those figures right there have eluded me badly. I don't even think I may have seen David Hart Smith one time ever in person, and I think it was at a random flea market, and the condition was like somebody just like threw it at the wall 17 times. It was awful. It, it looked like it had been beaten to hell, paint smeared, head sculpt looked like somebody had vomited on it. It was just horrendous. So I have not been able to get the Hart Dynasty figures, and that Tyson Kidd figure, really good, especially in the in the sense of the attire and things of that nature. So something I really want, haven't been able to find them. Elite 7 eludes 
to me and makes me sick. Next up, we have Elite Six figure. Now, this one, I can't remember if I've seen this one in person or not, but it eludes me. I don't have it in the collection. It is the WWE Elite Six CM Punk figure. It's a very unique figure. I feel like a lot of people kind of forget about this CM Punk. Really unique gear. You guys know the CM Punk figures are pretty much like, they're hard to come by in the first place, but if you have them, you know, they're they're very super rare. You know, people enjoy them. They, they love CM Punk. His figures are hard to come by, especially for a good price. So, CM Punk, maybe one day he'll come back to WWE and maybe we'll get some, you know, some new elites or an ultimate CM Punk. I could already see them booking that right there, but Elite 6 CM Punk, very cool gear, very cool figure in general, but never been able to add it to the collection. At least to my knowledge, I, I don't think, I'm pretty sure I've never owned this figure, but damn, that's a good football figure right there. Next up, we're going back to Elite 16, and Elite 16, I'm not talking about CM Punk this time, man. I'm talking about the Elite 16 Kevin Nash, a figure I've never owned, man. One of those more rarer figures, especially before they've released so many different ones. You know, you have the ringside exclusive Kevin Nash. You have the Legends version that they released, like the Outsiders version, right? And this one's a Outsiders version, but it is the red singlet, and it's got, you know, all the nice bells and whistles. Everybody loved this figure when it first released. Uh, it was a it was a top rare item for a very long time, and it may still be. I don't know what this figure goes for now. I've, I want to say it doesn't go for as much as it used to, but it's still one of those figures that everybody wants, and this is one that I would love to own. I would love to have an Outsiders Kevin Nash. Can't believe we really haven't seen an Ultimate Edition of this guy yet, at least in the sense of a Kevin Nash figure and not, you know, a Diesel, but still a figure that a lot of people have wanted, and it has eluded me, man. Another one that I, I want to say I've seen it maybe once in person at some sort of Toy Con or some sort of show or something like that, maybe, but uh, never had the opportunity to own this figure, so that's one that I definitely want. I'm actually lacking a lot in the Kevin Nash department, but the Elite 16 is the one that avoids me the most. And we're moving it right on to his buddy. We got American-made ringside exclusive Hulk Hogan, man. Another figure that rotted at ringside collectibles for a while. It was it was actually pretty cheap. I want to say that it was on clearance for a while, and I just never pulled the trigger, man. I really didn't have an inkling to get it. I thought it was a really beautiful figure, man, on card. Just never got around to really purchasing it, man, and that's one of those that you're not going to see unless it's online, right? Like, it's an online exclusive, so if you find that thing at a random con or something, like, you could. You could find it at a toy con or, you know, some sort of toy show or something like that, but for the most part, you're going to find that figure online, so if you're not going out of your way to purchase it online, it's going to be kind of difficult, and I just never had the the inkling to, to grab it or pre-order it or anything like that for American-made Hulk Hogan, but it is something that I'd like to do. I'd like to add it to the collection and things like that, and I know that we're getting kind of a version of that re-releasing and stuff, and I'm sure, without a doubt, it's going to be coming around the corner one day, but American-made Hulk Hogan is on the list for figures that have always eluded me. Now we're moving on to Elite 5, and Elite 5 is going to be Chavo Guerrero. Now, one thing about this figure is I actually have owned the head sculpt before. I think it was like on one of those Chinese websites, you know, that where you could get some stuff pretty cheap. I want to say I bought like five Chavo head sculpts, and I think I have like two left. I need to probably make a fix-up something like that on extra figure surgery, but I've made a couple versions of Elite 5 Chavo. Like, I made like a Los Guerreros version in green using, using like Fernando or something like that from Elite 35. I have made my versions of Chavo Guerrero, but I've never owned the official Elite 5 figure. Never done that. Never had the poncho or the headband or or, you know, the bandana or anything like that. So, Elite 5 Chavo is one of those guys that I'd like to, I'd definitely like to own that figure. Put it together with the Eddie Guerreros and stuff. I, I would love to have a version of Chavo, and I'd really like to see us get an updated Chavo Guerrero, but, you know, I don't know what the what's in the cards there. It's I feel like he kind of has, like, a weird relationship with WWE and stuff like that. I don't know the full, you know, stories behind that or anything like that, but I'm pretty sure he's kind of like a free agent when it comes to action figures and stuff like that right now. Next up, we do have the Defining Moments Triple H Elite. Now, this is one one that I have made, again, I've made my own versions of it. I've had the clothes from this figure. I want to say I've owned the, the head sculpt from this figure, but I don't think I've ever owned from the neck down this elite figure with no clothes or anything like that, right? So, like, the iconic early 2000s Triple H or the WrestleMania 18 Triple H style. You know what I'm talking about? The Iron Cross like red and white. Never had that figure officially. I think I've had opportunities to own it, but every time I find this figure, it's beat to hell and the graphic on the shorts is really important to me. Like, that's the most important part of the figure to me. The trunks, like, being clean. And so I have a, my own version of him in the street clothes with the jacket and the shirt and the pants. I have my own version of that, but I'd really like to see the version with the, you know, in the trunks only with the tights, with the graphic on there. And every time I find this figure, the graphic is torn to hell and I don't want to use a decal. I want the official thing with a clean graphic, a clean decal, things like that. So that is something that happens a lot with the Defining Moments Triple H. Tried to add it a hundred times, never been able to find it in good, clean condition. And the last figure on this list is the one that was 
in my video forever ago, and it is the ringside exclusive Wolfpack Sting Elite, man. One of the figures that I want so badly, but have not been able to add to my collection. You guys know I love Sting, I love Wolfpack Sting, love all Sting stuff, and I cannot, for the life of me, add this figure to the collection. I've tried so many times, tried conducting trades, tried doing different things, man. I have never been able to work it out and figure out a way to get this in the collection, so this is probably the one that is number one priority on my list. I just love that figure, man. You guys know how much I love Sting, so that figure is definitely up there for me in terms of adding it to the collection, so I'd love to make a deal for that one specifically. If nothing else, if nothing else comes from this video besides getting a deal made for Ringside Exclusive Sting, then we're gonna book it. We're gonna live with that, but that is my complete list of figures. Now, this isn't every single figure that has eluded me. These are just the notables. These are the ones that, like, I would like to add to the collection today. Like, there's plenty. I know there's definitely some figures out there that have eluded me, like ones that have, you know, bypassed and, and then ones that are older, like some of those older Legends figures and stuff like that, that maybe they only made one time, you know, like characters they've only made one time and stuff like that. But these are figures that probably shouldn't be so damn hard to add to the collection, man. But that is my complete list. I'd love to know down in the comment section below if you guys can relate to this list. And also, man, again, the DMs are open if you have a deal that you'd like to make or maybe you have a figure on your list and maybe I have it or, or vice versa or or something like that. I mean, I might be willing to trade some customs for some of these figures. At least the ringside exclusive Wolfpack Sting, man. I really want to add that figure to the collection. But that is pretty much going to wrap up. My figures that have eluded me make me sick. But again, man, hit me up if you would like to make a deal. Or you have a trade opportunity, man. Let's see what we can make happen. But ringside exclusive Sting. And the rest of them there, man. Just Jesus, man. I'd like to knock out some of this stuff, check them off the list, so that I don't have to think about it no more, man. I can put some newer figures on this list. Because this is a list that I keep handy dandy on my notebook right here. Now, listen, man, that's going to wrap this video up. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. Before we get out of here, a huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys. Thank you guys so much for your continued support on the channel. If you guys are interested in that, click the link in the description below. But I think that is going to wrap up today's video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. I need that damn Wolfpack Sting, Brad.